ready to begin today's lesson? I hope you are. Before we begin today's lesson, there is one or two things we need to speak about first before we can learn a little bit more about occupations. Let's practice that word one more time. We practiced it yesterday. Can you remember it? Let's go by the syllables. A Q P Shin. A Q P Shin. One more time. Let's go a little bit faster. Occupation. My turn. Occupation. Okay. Again, it's just a word I need you to know and understand. Don't worry about learning how to spell it. Unless you want to be a spelling champion, then make sure you practice. Okay. When we're young, we are children. One child, many children. Okay. So basically, anybody who is around the age of about zero to ten years old, we will refer to as a child. They're very small, they're very young. Okay. Whereas an adult, this is somebody who is in the 20 plus years, 20, 30, 40, 50 years old even. Okay. We are speaking to about an adult, someone who is now finished with school and has started their job as well. Okay, can be even 18 years old. Most people will only start to refer to as an adult probably around the age of 21, actually. But on general, these are guidelines. They're not exact rules. So these are just kind of ideas I want you to think about. Okay, so a child, when you're young, we refer to you as a boy or a girl. We know these words. We've practiced them many times in our classes boy and girl. Okay, but when we're an adult, we do not use these words. Okay, teacher David is not a boy. Teacher David is a man. Alright, okay, so when you're an adult and you're older than 21, they refer to you as a man, and if you're a girl, you change to a woman. Man, woman. Some of you may already know this, but I just wanted to clarify this before we get into today's occupations because there is one or two things that I want you to think about. Okay, let's practice these ones quickly. Man, woman, man, woman. Okay, these come into play a little bit in our lesson and when we begin with our flashcards, I'm sure you'll understand why. But just remember, a boy and a man, the only difference is your age. How old are you? Alright, so if you're still a student studying in school, most adults will speak to you and refer to you as a child, as a boy or a girl. But when you grow up to be an adult, then you become a man or a woman. Okay, let's get started on our flashcards and you'll understand a little bit better why I want you to understand these things. Alright, so the first occupation we have is... Do you know this guy? It's a ch sound, e, eh, and a f. Chef. Chef. Alright, do you see his funny little hat? to keep the hair from falling in the food. A chef is almost like a baker. Sometimes they use an oven, but most times they use pots and frying pans to cook the food. Okay, if you work in a restaurant and you're making food like this, then you are a chef. The reason I want you to know today about man and woman is that anybody can do any job. I want you to remember this for as long as your life this goes on. Anyone can do any job as long as you try hard enough. So a chef can be a boy or a girl. But again, they are adults. We do not say boy or girl. We say man or woman. Remember that. It's coming up soon. Let's look at number two. Oh, did we practice that? Let's say it one more time. Chef. Chef. This sounding is a little bit different. We do not say the normal ch sound, otherwise we say chef. 
And that sounds very wrong. It's almost like a SH sound. Okay, so pretend it's a SH. Chef. Chef. Okay. Let's look at number two. Let's do the word first. Food vendor. Okay. Food vendor. Vendor. Okay, the word food we always understand. Vendor is a fancy way of somebody who sells things. Okay, so here we have many different food vendors. All right, some food vendors have carts or bikes or even trolleys of some form that carry the food around and then they sell many different types of food. We see many of these near our neighborhood here near the school. Food vendors selling ice cream, food vendors selling many different types of food, even coconuts. Okay, so a vendor is somebody who sells things. A food vendor is somebody who sells food. Okay, some food vendors are not even on a cart and they will have a shop or maybe even a shop house like we practiced. Let's practice the words one more time. Food vendor. Food vendor. Food vendor. Okay, and again, can be a man or a woman. Let's look at number three. Something teacher David did on Sunday, but is not his occupation. He used a broom to sweep the dust to keep him clean. All right, you know this job? We call this a sweeper. Remember, we practiced this word before, to sweep. It's where we use the broom to clean dust from the floor. Okay, the job or the occupation is a sweeper. This man is a sweeper. Let's practice again. Sweeper. 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 Excellent. And again, can be a man or a woman. The next one's a really cool one, but it's a very scary job. Do you know him? All right. Early in K1 or K2, I think you would have learned the word fireman. Okay. And again, that gets a little bit tricky. Can it be a fireman or a firewoman? Both are correct. But if we do not know the answer, we will call them a fire fighter. It's two words, we squish them together. We have fire, fire, you know, fire can burn you. And the second word is fighter, fighter, uh -oh. fighter. Okay, that doesn't mean he puts on gloves and he fights the fire. This is wrong, no. He uses water to fight the fire, sometimes even ax, and he's always got an oxygen tank as well. So let's practice this word. Fire, fighter. Fire, fighter. Fire, fighter. Firefighter. 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 Okay. Remember, if we call him a... Let me fix the camera quickly. Did it? We can call him a fireman or even a firewoman if she's a girl. Like I said, boys and girls, Anybody can do any occupation if they try hard enough. Okay, the next one, again, this is where we come into play, why I want to speak about man and woman. If you want to work for the police, you again can be a man or a woman. All right, in K2 we study police man many times. So the word we're practicing today, police woman. Okay, the woman part speaks about the girl. Okay, remember, she's an adult. We cannot call her a girl. We call her a woman or a man. So again, let's practice. Police. You know this word? Police. Woman. Woman. So the arrow shows to the police woman. Okay. Let's practice both words. Let's put this away. Policeman. 
policeman, police woman, police woman. Okay, if you do not know if it's a man or a woman, we will say police officer. But again, this is not a word that we will use today. And these are things that we will practice and study as we go through from grade one all the way through grade seven. All right, just make sure you remember if it's a boy, police man, and if it's a girl, police woman. Do you see that W-O, woman? All right, let me fix my camera. So that brings us to the end of today's lesson. Again, I want you to start remembering that if it's children, young students or young people, we speak about a boy or a girl. And if they're adults, grown-ups, we talk about a man or a woman. Okay, and these will also then apply to all of our occupations as we learn them as well. Not all of them. We cannot say teacher man or teacher woman. This is unnecessary. All we need to know is teacher. All right. But when there are specifics, don't worry. I will teach you. Make sure you practice them correctly. All right. I will see you again very shortly. So please get your textbooks and workbooks ready for the next few videos. Again, I hope that teacher David can find one or two videos to show you a little bit more about what do these occupations do. All right. So, good luck, boys and girls, and I'll see you soon. Bye.